Hey guys, welcome back to a new video into my channel. If you're new, my name is Lynn. Thank you for stopping by. So today's video is a get ready with me. I was so inspired by this purple sweater, so I want to create a purple look. And I will also show you how I create my favorite hairstyle. So we will go from this to this real quick. So I have been so obsessed with purple lately and I'm finally back filming. I can't believe it has been over two weeks. I had to do surgery in my mouth because one of the tubes were actually growing into my cheek and it was barely showing up and I got an infection and I decided to remove the upper tooth as well. So I think they're called wisdom teeth in English, I'm not sure. But that is the Norwegian word, so I had to remove both of these. I was so swollen, blue, I turned yellow and purple, and it, I was just looking like a mess, and I had been in so much pain. But I'm glad that I can finally sit down today and create this beautiful look for you guys. And I'm still a little bit swollen, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is a little bit more swollen on this side. So if you have any tips, please leave them down below, I'm desperate. So I am excited to be back, I'm sorry that I have been away for two weeks, but hopefully this will make it up to you. I am sharing this beautiful purple look with you today, and I'm also sharing how you can create this beautiful, cute hairstyle. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you're new and you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell and put on your post notifications. And without further ado, if you want to see how I created this makeup look, and also this cute hairstyle, then please keep watching. So today I really want to have a very glowy base. So I'm gonna use this Dior Backstage product, which is the Face and Body Glow. I really, really love this product and I have been using it off camera since I got it. And what I do is that I'm just placing it all over where I want a little bit of glow. So I have really been loving this product. So I just apply this before I apply my foundation. I talked about this product in my recent favorites video. So if you want to check that out, I will leave it up in the corner so you can check it out. But look at that glow. So if you want your foundation to be a little bit more liquid and a little bit more dewy, this is a great product to add into your foundation. So for foundation, I'm actually gonna use a new love that I have been trying out off camera. I haven't been able to sit down and do a makeup tutorial in over two weeks just because I had to do surgery on my tooth. So this is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to the sponge and then I'm carefully gonna add it to this side because as you can see I am a little bit swollen still and I also decided to take my upper tooth as well. So I have been in so much pain. I was all blue and yellow and it was just not a good look for me. So therefore I haven't been able to film any tutorials for the past two weeks or any videos. And I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I am launching my own brand in August and I am so, so, so excited to share all the products with you and everything that I have been working day and night on for the past year and I'm just beyond excited. This is a little hint of what's coming. I'm sure you probably have seen it on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, be sure to follow me and also be sure to follow This Is Livy Beauty because I already have started to post picture of products, but I will be coming up with makeup sponges, lashes, brushes, and lip products first. And I just can't wait to share all the details and all the products with you guys. I'm so, so, so excited. So for concealer, I will take the Dior Forever Skin Correct, and I have really been loving this. I tend to have very dry under eyes, but I feel like this concealer just doesn't make me look any drier and it also really sticks to the place where you actually apply it because it sets down very fast. So this concealer is lighter than the Tarte Shape Tape but it covers just as good and I really really enjoy this concealer for that. So I will go ahead and apply my brows off camera just to save us some time and I will be right back. 
brows are on so let's go ahead and start with our eyes so I'm gonna use the bloodless palette from Jeffree Star today so we're gonna play with some purple colors in this palette today I will start with this deviant shade right here which is more of a baby purple and I am obsessed with this color so I'm gonna add this into my crease and also blend it up to my brow bone I love this palette for purple shades I think this has all the purple shades you pretty much need I went to H&M and I picked up so many purple biker shorts, t-shirts, tops and also this sweater so if you're interested in this sweater I will leave that down below as always and I'm also going to drag it a little bit out and up so next up I will take Vivid Mood which is a little bit brighter and a little bit darker and we are going to place this into our crease as well. But this I will not blend as high, I will keep it pretty much in the crease and also in the outer corners. So I'm packing shadow onto the outer corner and then I'm blending it out. And another great tip that I have for you that I pretty much stayed in all my tutorial is to keep your eyes open while blending. I have watched so many people blend with their eyes closed, they open them and you can't see the shadow at all. And that is why I always blend my shadows with my eyes open so I can see exactly where I place the shadow. So that is also a little tip. If you struggle with your eyeshadow, be sure to do that. It will make a huge, huge difference. So now we will go ahead and take this beautiful sparkly pink which is called Wet Jewel and I'm going to place that to my inner inner corners just to give the look a little bit of a pop. So I really love these shadows here as well. I think they're beautiful, they're so pigmented and I'm just going to place this to my inner corners. I'm not going to go crazy with this shadow. And next up I will take this shadow right here which is called High King. As you can see this is a lot darker than the shadow we just play with. So this will definitely darken up that outer corner. And I'm also going to blend it into the eye a little bit but I'm not going all the way into my inner corners with this one. So next up I will take this shadow right here which is called Pink Magic. I'm just going to add it onto my finger. As you can see this is so vibrant and so sparkly and we're just going to place this onto the middle of our eye and blend the pink and the purple together and also add it onto the outer corners and blend everything together. And then I'm going to pick up Wet Jewel again and we're just going to blend both these shadows together. Next up I'm gonna dip into Blood Queen which is the darkest purple in the palette and I'm gonna focus this on the outer corners just to build up the intensity a little bit more and I'm also gonna drag the shadow out a little bit. Then I'm gonna take the first brush and I'm just gonna go over the edges and blend everything out. So next I'm gonna go back in with Deviant and I'm just gonna take this and blend it on top of everything to kind of make the edges a little bit more seamless. So for the lower lash I'm gonna use Vivid Mood and I will apply that very tight to my lash line. And next up I will also pick up High King right here which we used on our lids and I will apply this all the way to my inner lash line. So I went ahead and applied lashes and mascara and also liner off camera. The liner that I'm using is from MAC Cosmetic and this is the smaller liner. Love that. I applied it in my waterline. For mascara, I'm using the Falsies Mascara from Maybelline. One of the best drugstore mascaras out there in my opinion. And last but not least... I have my very own lashes on and I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you've seen my lash boxes. I love them so much. I'm so excited for you guys to receive these and try them out for yourself. And the lashes that I'm wearing today is pretty much one of my favorite pairs ever. And these are called Que Royale from my favorite drink which is a drink that I always drink when I am 
in France. So I wanted to have some fun names on my lashes. So let me know down below if you love these lash boxes. What do you think? So I really wanted my brand to feel a little bit luxe for less. So I wanted them to have a beautiful packaging compared to the plastic packaging that a lot of lashes have. And I think this is such a beautiful box and I can't wait to show you the rest of the collection. So now let's go ahead and contour. I will use Scott Barnes Sculpting and Contour Palette. So today I'm going to start with Sculpt and Frame. I will use Frame for the outer parts of my face and then I will use a Sculpt on the places where I really want to sculpt. And as you can see, this is so hella pigmented. I barely touched the pan and these are also so easy to blend. So if you haven't seen the video where I tested out these products, I've done a full review and first impression on this. So I will leave it up in a corner so you can check it out. And I love that you get so many colors in here. So you're actually able to sculpt and contour with different colors that really brings back dimension in your face, which is one of the things that I really love about this. So I will go into frame. And what I usually do is that I dab it on to the outer parts of my forehead and then I blend it out. And you can build up the intensity of these shadows as well. So you definitely can go a lot bolder if you want to and you can definitely go with a little less product if that's your jazz. Definitely a great palette that I recommend you to invest in. It is not crazy expensive compared to other contour palettes. And there you probably get like four or five or six contour shades. In here you get eight different shades and they're all for contouring. And the brush that I'm using will also be in my brush kit. So be sure to stay tuned for August. So I will have a giveaway up on my channel very soon when I get all the products. So now we'll use a Crave right here, which is a little bit lighter and I will just blend that into my jawline. So next up I will take Chisel right here and I will just go down the side of my nose with this color. And as you can see, this is such a versatile palette because you can use all the shades for contouring which is something that I really love. And now I will go in with this one, which is called Hashtag Shade. I will add this to a beautiful brush, which is one of my faves. And we will add this as a blush right here on top of the cheeks. I will not go crazy with this because I will apply blush over it, but I will just add a flush of color. So now I will go in with a purple blush just to match everything and this is the Wrapped Candy blush from MAC Cosmetic, the Extra Dimension one. I really, really love this because it has a luminous sheen so it will actually give you a little bit of glow back as well. So I really love these blushes because they are so lightweight, you can't go overboard with this because you have to build them up. They are very light, they're very luminous and I just love the beautiful glow that you get. So I will add a tiny amount in my forehead as well. And now we're gonna use the Dior Backstage Face Glow Palette. So I love this palette so, so much. I use it pretty much every single day. So I'm gonna dig into this deeper shade right here. And I'm just gonna go over where I applied contour and bronzer just to get a little bit of glow back. So I love that this is like a multi-use palette. So you can use it as a bronzer like I do. You can use it as blush if you want that. You can top off your blush. You also get some beautiful highlighters. You can use it as eyeshadow. So now I will go ahead and add this and this. I will mix these two and I will apply some highlighter. Then I will add some Fix Plus to my face just to blend everything together. So for lips, I will use the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Lip Liner. And this is like the perfect nude color. This is my second one. I love it so, so much. Really recommend you to check it out. Then I will add the Pure Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I will go back with the liner and just blend the edges together. And then I will top them with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Reef. This smells so good and it is one of my favorite drugstore glosses ever. It is so comfortable on the lips. It also has hyaluronic acid so it will moisture your lips as well. And I love, love, love the packaging. I feel like this is so me as well. So now let's go ahead and continue with our hair. I promised that I was going to show you 
my favorite hairstyle at the moment. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to brush through it and then I will divide my hair and be sure to keep it very tight. And then you take a hair tie. I guess it is pretty self-explanatory what I'm doing and also how to achieve this hairstyle. But I know a lot of you always comment when I am wearing this hairstyle. So I thought it would be fun to include it in this video. So I'm just doing the same on this side. I'm keeping it very tight. I'm using another hair tie right here. We're just going to twist it around and pull. So this is my hair kit when I am working as a makeup artist. So I have these clear elastic hair ties and we're going to use a bunch of these for the next step. I'm using clear elastic all the way down. So we have one here and you can decide how much width you want. So there is two. So today I think I will use four and I will leave some extra hair right here. So this is how one side should look when you're done applying the elastic. So now I will go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side and make sure that everything is even, but you can adjust it afterwards as well. So now we're just gonna pull the hair and you can do this as much as you want, as little as you want. You can just totally decide right here, but I'm just pulling in all different directions. You can totally pull your hair hair as much as you want, make them as big as you want, and you can totally play around with your hair right here. But it is so easy to create, and I really think this hairstyle is so, so cute. Here you have it, my favorite hairstyle at the moment. And it is so easy to create, everybody can do this. You just need some elastics and also some hair ties. You can also use elastic right here, but I feel since my hair is very thin and very smooth, the elastic kind of falls down a little bit. So therefore I like to have these white hair ties right here because it keeps everything very stable, very slick. And then we have to finish up the Lynn signature with some hoops. So that is it for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you want me to do more hair videos. Get ready with me where I show you makeup and hair. This was so much fun to create. And let me know down below if you want to recreate this hairstyle or this makeup look. Be sure to tag me in your photos, add me on Instagram, and also send me a DM if you don't want to post the picture. So before you go, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also if you're new and you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button to ring the bell and put on your post notifications because you will not miss this upcoming giveaway, the upcoming launch video, and upcoming brand reveal. So be sure to subscribe right away. And without further ado, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.